Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. This week, we are going to show you how to migrate your laptops between two Microsoft 365 tenants. This is a series of two videos, Azure AD Registered Devices Migration and Azure AD Join Devices Migration. This video covers Azure AD Registered Devices Migration. The first step is to create the two source and target connectors. In the project, navigate to the top left side and click on Connectors. Then, click on New and select a Microsoft 365 connector. For the first connector, select Source as Direction. Select Cross-Tenant Migration and Intune for the type of connector and give it a name. Once done, click Next. You can use the Expert mode if you want to manually create your connector. For simplicity, we are not going to use the expert mode in this video. However, more details are available in the user guide. In this screen, enter a migration account and password. It doesn't have to be admin of the tenant. Next, click on Grant Admin Consent. It will install an Azure Active Directory application in your tenant. You will be prompted to enter a global admin account. It is only necessary for installing the Azure AD application and will not be used during the migration process. Now that we have created the source connector, let's create the target Microsoft 365 connector. Let's repeat the same step, but this time we will select target as direction. Once your connectors are created, let's create the configuration. You need to create a personal access token. These are the credentials that local agents will use to authenticate to the CloudAway platform. For this, you have to click on Account and then APIs. Click on New Token. Give it a name. Give it the scope of the project and an expiration date. Finally, select Agent Tenant Migration and click on Create. Once it is created, we need to reference it in the Global Settings. Click on Devices and then Global Settings. Under Personal Access Token, select your token. DNS Alias is an alias that will be provided by CloudAway. Since we are in the Global Settings, let's configure them entirely. Under Agent Version, you can keep Enable Automatic Agent Upgrade. In this video, we are forcing a specific version as we are in a development environment that is changing quickly. Let's also download the installation script. We will need it later in this video. This is the script that will install the agent on the laptop. Now, select what you want to migrate. For this video, we will not select the Migrate Azure AD Join Devices settings. It is covered into the next video. Save your configuration. We are now ready to migrate. Let's log into the laptop that we want to migrate. In this demo, we are logged as a local user and we are logged to Microsoft 365 with the account named Alan D at m365t239.12132.onmicrosoft.com. Let's verify this. Let's open a command prompt and run the command dsregcmd slash status. The output shows that it is workplace joined, which means that the divide is registered to Azure AD, Entra ID, in the tenant named Contoso. The command dsregcmd slash list accounts now shows that the registered account is indeed Alan D at m365 t239 at onmicrosoft.com. We can also verify this in the access work or school settings. It should show the registered account as well. Good, we have verified that the device is Entra ID registered. Now we are going to verify that Word, Outlook, and OneDrive synchronization agent are configured and connected to the source tenant. 
Let's first verify Word. Let's start it. It is registered to Allen D in the source tenant. Now, let's verify the OneDrive synchronization settings. The synchronization agent is up and running. Finally, let's start Outlook. It is configured and connected to the source mailbox. Now that we have validated that the laptop is registered to the source tenant and that Outlook, Word, Excel, and OneDrive are synchronized with the source, let's start the migration. We will install the agent manually with the installation script that we have downloaded from the global settings. As administrator, you will deploy it to your park by different ways not covered in this video. For this video, we are going to install it manually with the script available locally. We are going to start a PowerShell elevated prompt and launch the script. The script will download an MSI package and install it automatically. For migrating registered devices migration, we can also eventually send a migration link through the platform. You can send the installation link from the CloudAway user list. We are not covering this feature in this video. The agent is now successfully installed. It is now up and running and accessible from the SysTray. Double-click on the icon to open it. If you check the CloudAway console, you will notice that the agent has self-registered on the Agent Devices list. The list of computers of each user is also visible from the user list. If the user has multiple devices, he must install the agent on every laptop. From this user list, let's schedule the migration. You can start the migration immediately or schedule it at the time of your choice. For this demo, we will start the migration immediately. The local agent will periodically connect to the platform and check when it's time to migrate. It is connecting to the platform every 10 minutes. Therefore, the migration will start within the next 10 minutes. Now we see that the agent has started the migration and planned a reboot. The computer has now rebooted. Let's check the result of the migration. The computer shouldn't be registered anymore. Let's verify this with dsregcmd slash status. We can see that it is not workplace joined anymore. Also, it doesn't have any WAM accounts anymore. OneDrive synchronization agent isn't connected anymore. By entering the credentials of the user of the target tenant, it will now synchronize with the target OneDrive. Outlook has been unconfigured. You just have to create a new profile and enter your target email address. Last thing to check is Office. It is not linked anymore to the source account. You can now register it with your target account. Good! When we start Word, it is prompted to log in to the target account. Finally, you can check your account settings and re-register your laptop to the new tenant. The migration of the laptop is successfully completed. Thank you for watching and check out our other migration guides.